Hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, my name's Ed, and I'm here with Bo. Uh, we're part of the community team here at Frontier Developments, and today, well, we're very lucky to be joined by the one and only Jeff Goldblum. Jeff, thank you so much for coming thank along. Thank you so much, Edward and Bo. Hello. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. So how does it feel to bring Ian Malcolm back to life? You know, I haven't... You know, it's been how long did I how long ago did I do that second the first you know those first couple of movies yeah. quite a while ago. I loved doing the first couple and they yeah. were so much enjoyed. It's been these low these couple of decades. People have been excited to tell me about how much they liked it. So I was nothing but um, bushy tailed and thrilled to come back and do some more. So how does it feel <laughs> to be part of, of um, a video game? I love the idea. I love the idea. <laughs> Jeez, what a responsibility. I went to a lovely recording studio and I recorded stuff that's going to be in the game. My character has some credibility, mm -hmm. so if I'm offering a word of advice, mm -hmm. consider that it comes from experience. Yeah. It was really a, a revisiting of that character for me. Yeah. I enjoyed it no end. And, and I have high hopes for this game and I can't wait to see the whole thing. We're going to go through some of the scenarios. These are things that our players of Jurassic Evolution are going to encounter in the game. Yes, ma'am. And we want to know how would Jeff Goldblum act when these things happen. I love scenarios. Yeah, okay. I love the scenario game. You're on the island. A tornado is approaching. There's guests and a hotel behind you. What do you do? Uh, help, help the guests. Mm -hmm. Help, help the guests. You know, I have some experience with this. Do you? Did you, did, oh, no. did you know? Maybe you're trying to, maybe no. you know or maybe you don't know. You know, during the first Jurassic Park, uh -huh. come week and a half, you know, almost to the end of the shoot, mm -hmm. a hur hurricane, a oh bi God. big hurricane named Aniki was maybe coming, as you know, these things happen. Oh, is it coming? Is it coming? Did I, yes, it is. Mm. And it, it came. I had never been in a thing like that in my life. And we were all staying in a hotel. Wow. And they had a meeting with us picture people, us company, the other company, and said, here's what's going to happen. And we're shutting down for a bit. And, and we're all going to meet in this hotel. And they kept us all safe. And when we went into a kind of a basement, in the hotel where it was safe and we'd arranged cha chaise lounges, you know, from the pool area to sleep on maybe through the night, and which we did. It was a, it was something to see. And you know, four people on the island lost their lives during oh my that. God. Okay. It's a hor horrible, tragic <laughs> thing. So in this made up scenario, yeah. um, which I have a little experience with, yes, I would help the dear guests. I would say, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Let's get everybody, let's find out when the last moment is, let's, Air on the side of caution and mm. get in sooner than later, batten down the hatches, as we say, and uh, get, get ourselves some food, because mm -hmm. it may be a while. Do, do all that stuff, all that survival wow. stuff. We didn't expect actual real tips for how to survive a hurricane <laughs> when, we, when we started this up, but thank you. How about that for a Cracker Jack story? I know, <laughs> yeah. that's really I got impressive. a million of them. We do have another scenario for you. And, and it's a bit, a bit of a sad one again. What, what, what? Yeah, small oh, no. dinosaurs can get sick. And what would you do if the, if the disease was spreading? How would, you, how, would you, how would you stop this from spreading any further? This takes v veterinarian mm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. so I suppose you could Well, that's find. what I do. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking out loud myself into the answer. <laughs> it's Jeff Goldblum, I would say, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Who can I call? Yeah. Best veterinarian. Yeah, sorry, it'll be the first. Yeah. Veterinarian hello? near you. Oh. Hello, hello. Uh, hi. Who, who, who is this? Have um. I reached a. Doctor uh, Dr. Uh, Lewis? Lewis. Yes, that's correct, Doctor Lewis. But... Uh, Edward, gee, I've got Hi. a bunch of sick dinosaurs okay. on my hands. Sure. W where are you? Can you come over? I'm and in. See um, them I'm in. House? I'm in Manchester, England, right now. I'm on an island off of Costa Rica. Uh, Doctor Lewis, the symptoms and the, he's hung up on <laughs> me. The, the connection's gone. I'm sorry. It's just hung up. Yeah, the, the connection was lost. There's a storm. There's an electrical storm coming in. And now you've got no electricity. You're new extempore. I'm sorry. I'm adding. I'm adding extra things this in here. That mm -hmm. We're yeah. actually going to show you now some of the dinosaurs from our game. So these are dinosaurs that feature in Jurassic World Evolution, and we're going to ask you to come up with some names and characteristics for these dinosaurs. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll reveal the real name of the dinosaur and see how close you got. We're going to see a little lineup, a little cast. Here is dinosaur parade. number one. Mm, brownosaurus. It's mm -hmm. brown, but... Uh, what sort of characteristics do you feel the brownosaurus would have? Well, this one 
would be quite friendly. I don't see any uh, t teeth there, any big teeth. Or are those big teeth that I'm not seeing? Or is that a big whitish lip? He's got like that uh, lip, uh, lipstick on that they used to wear in the 60s. Edmontosaurus. This is the Edmontosaurus. After you? After yeah, this after is, I believe it, yeah. so. Uh, uh, well, is there a bone <laughs> de Probably. Should be, well, somewhere here. No. Really? <laughs> believe it or not, it's not named after me. Version of Dino. And actually, we do have uh, information about what, what its call would be. So do you think you can, uh, you can imagine what kind of call this dinosaur would make? How right am I? You have something? That... Yeah, it's a goose-like honk. Honk, honk. Very good. Honk. We have the, the dinosaur number <laughs> two. We, we've got a second one. You ready? <gasps> well, that looks like our friend the Triceratops almost, doesn't it? So this is a little elephantine, and so mm. I would call this um, Saggy baggy um, <laughs> dinosaur. Saggy baggy dinosaur. Yes. That's so cute. So tell me about this. Uh, so the yes. Taurosaurus, highly social because of the horns. They had to be treated with care because they were actually quite defensive over their over their family. Right, Toro, Toro, Toro. Another one. Toro. <laughs> Well, he, he, he looks uh, playful. He looks like he's making a, he's in the process of making a sound of some kind. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Look at that lovely, lovely long throat. Yeah. And, and that lovely, uh, you know, you know, little, little feather in his cap yeah. looks awful nice. Mm -hmm. he, he looks entirely delightful. <laughs> I call him, I call him, uh, I call him Sweet Sue. Sweet oh, Sue. Sweet Sue. Sue. Yeah. Oh, Sweet Sue. Sweet Sue. So, Not actually, the Cintosaurus uh, yeah. has a characteristic duck bill. Yeah. Can you give us your, be your best duck face? That's Ooh. very good. Ooh. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful set, by the way. Yeah. Oh, and look nice. at the props. Look at oh, this. Yeah. Look at this article. You see what this? Is? Oh, I know why you put yeah. this. Oh, I thought it was particularly sort of low rent. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Go. Can, can we do that? Can you we do know, a people, You know, people come up to me on, at uh, the jazz gig. Cute. Come here, Bo. They do say this. They go, Dr. Ellie Sadler, and I do videos. You know, sometimes where I go, yes. They say, will you do this with me? I go, sure, I'll do it. I'll, I'm, I'm nothing if not amenable. And I go, well, Miss uh, here, Dr. Sadler, or in this case, Bo, mm -hmm. Bo DeVries, just put it like that because I'm going to show you. Where do you think it's going to go? You think so, really? <laughs> well, well, it just stays on that. It's just not st moving. Isn't that interesting that it stayed there? Who could have th thought that? Well, it has something to do with chaos there. I'm not doing, I'm redoing my scene. <laughs> I don't really know how it goes now, but Close you know, enough. something like that. Did yeah. you get anything out of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jeff, for coming along today. Well, I can't thank you enough, Edward and Bo. This has been delightful. <laughs> thank you for sharing your lovely community with me. I can't. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, you. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank well, we can't. Yeah, thank you, Bo. <laughs> we can't wait to see you uh, in the game as well. I can't yeah. wait to. Yeah, yeah. see how it all turns out and see if you you like it. I'm so happy to do this. Available to pre-order now.